Today we're going to talk about eight different watercolor techniques. So we're going to do wet on wet, wet on dry, alcohol, salt, tissue, plastic wrap, oil or crayon resist, and splatter. So the first thing I want to do is watercolor the background. And one of the beautiful things about watercolor is that watercolor can be transparent. So you really want to make sure that you do not overcolor your paper. And what I mean by that is continuing to put paint on top until everything in the background is covered. Like I said, the beauty of watercolor is that it's transparent. You can see through it and it shows beautiful value. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to paint my background and you can paint it however you like. I am going to do some areas super light and I think I'm going to work my way from warm colors over here to cool colors on the other paper and you can see I'm going to leave some areas blank or light really allowing the transparency of the watercolor to do the work so sometimes as you can see instead of going and getting more paint, I just get water to allow that transparency to really show through. And sometimes it doesn't take a lot of paint for the watercolor to go a really long way. I always dip and drag my brush this time I'm only getting water I'm allowing the colors to kind of blend into one another. And I will definitely let this dry before I start working on my squares. Now this side, I am going to work with some of the cool colors. Once your paper is dry, you are going to take a post-it note and you are going to trace it until you have eight squares. You can use any square you want. If you don't have a post-it note, it could even be in circle, any shape that you like. You can even probably trace just the bottom of a cup as long as you have eight different areas. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to use the technique of resist and I am going to outline my squares with a crayon and I'm going to press very hard to build up that waxy finish so that when I go to paint inside of my squares, my paint isn't running into the background color. <laughs> 